Charlie. Okay. You all right? Okay. So what happened? Oh, come on, mate. You can tell me. I know. It's just this has never happened to me before. Don't know what to do. And it's a bit... A bit... Embarrassing. Well, I promise whatever it is, we'll sort it out. And I won't tell anybody. I think I've got... Really? Really? Dear. Oh dear. Well, this is university and this kind of stuff must happen all the time. I mean, with all the information that college have given us, you must think it's like the most common thing in the world. I mean, look at all this stuff. <laughs> So will you come with me then? To the clinic? Oh, of course I will. Yeah, of course. <laughs> so, um, how did you, you know? Nick. Girls, I was just on my way to do some washing, but Mummy will absolutely kill me if I don't get this lot dry cleaned professionally. I mean, she almost had a fit when I showed her the laundry room. She told me if I didn't get it dry cleaned properly, that I would send it home and Sophia would do it, or if I was absolutely desperate, then I was to hand wash it myself. <laughs> hand wash it my ass. I mean, Mummy's so ridiculous sometimes. Students don't hand wash things. So, I'm off to find a professional dry cleaners. Where are you two going? Um... We're, um, going shopping. <gasps> Ooh, shopping, can I come? I saw this absolutely divine poncho on the high street that I must have. Give me two secs, okay? Um, no, you can't. I mean, well, because... Because we're not going shopping. The thing is, I've got a little problem. A little problem? Down there. Down where? It's Nick. Nick's the problem. Oh, what's he done now? I think I've got an STD. Well, that's very unfortunate, darling, but what's that got to do with Nick? Oh. Oh. What a pig. What a thoroughly nasty pig. Right, that's it. I'm off to give that oversex Neanderthal a piece of my mind. never entered your tiny little brain. What? Oh, I know all about you and Charlie after the other night. She told us. Me and Charlie? Come on, Ellie, she's a lovely girl, but... I'm not stupid, Nicholas, unlike you, who normally gives a perfectly innocent girl an STD. How could you do that? I mean, it's bad enough you sleep with her, but to sleep with her when little Nick is riddled with goodness knows whoa, what... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just calm down. You've completely lost me. STD, what are you talking about? Charlie told us that she now has a little problem <clears throat> down there, thanks to you after the other night. Yeah, well, she doesn't just have a little problem down there, if you ask me. I think she's got a bigger problem up here. Ma'am, she was drunk, I was drunk, we flirted. That's it. I mean, is she going around telling everyone that I've slept with her and I've given her an STD? Well, she's crazy and lying. Look, Ellie, I swear to you, I went home by myself that night. And as for little Nick, he's, uh, fine and dandy. Hmm. Look, I know Charlie liked me. It's obvious. And yet I played along with it. I flirted with her. It was wrong and I shouldn't have done. But 
the only reason I did it was, well... What? Because I like you. I, I really, really like you. And yet I was just being a typically stupid boy, just flirting with another girl, trying to get, get you to be jealous, and, and it failed. Yes, it did. Men, why are they so pathetic? It uh, must be in the genes. So, you promise nothing happened? Would I lie to you? All right. You know, you think you know someone you know, but no. No? Charlie. Now there I was thinking what a perfectly charming girl she is when she's nothing but a common little liar. Right, so explain. Well, apparently she's gone and got herself an STD. Nick. Never. Well, that's what I thought. I mean, I felt quite sorry for Charlie. You know, our housemates and everything. So I thought I'd go around and give Nick a piece of my mind. You know, stick up for the girls and all that. So there I was, putting Nick in his place. When it turns out, Nick never even gave her an STD at all. In fact, he never even slept with her. He said he went home that night alone. That's what he said? That he went home alone? Yep. You know, I don't know how she thinks she'd get away with it. Truth was bound to be found out in the end. Well, I don't know how Nick thinks he's going to get away with it. I hate to break it to you, Elle, but I saw him leaving our room the morning after the fancy dress pub crawl. Dressed, or rather half-dressed, in his costume. Nick's the one who's lying. Please tell me you're joking. Are you sure it was Nick? A half-dressed Hercules, Elle. I'm certain it was him. Oh, no. I feel awful. So you should. Hi. How are you? Fine. Did you have fun last night? Yeah. Yeah, I did. It was fun. I uh, loved your costume. Favourite pulling one? Not that that was the intention of the... It was, I'm not like that. It's just it was fancy dress. Joe, but... shut up. Okay. Look, what are you doing later? Uh, nothing. Would you fancy coming out with me? Could have a few drinks? See what this city's got to offer? Yeah, definitely. Well, I've got your number. I'll give you a call, yeah? Yeah. Cool. Cool. It's not always been like this. We used to get on so well. Never used to argue. We used to just, you know, have so much fun. I think we've probably just been going out too long though. It's like, we, we've possibly even stopped trying now. You know what I mean? It's like, um, Sasha, she's just, she used to want to spend so much time with me, but nah, she just, she, at every opportunity possible, she just goes away and she just wants to be on her own. So why did you guys come to uni together? I mean, I don't mean to sound harsh, but even the strongest of relationship needs some space. Well, I obviously thought we were stronger than we actually are. I mean, I thought we could be mature enough to come to university and, you know, spend time together, but also be apart as well. It just sort of happened, you know what I mean? It was like, we both liked the college. We thought it were great. We just we just didn't think about what else. It's just like, you know when your head's up there, it's mmm. No, not really. You see, I've never really had a proper girlfriend. It's not that I didn't want one. It's just that, well, I couldn't really get one. And it's like, the birds, they always go for the cool kids. Well, you can be cool. You just have to stop calling women birds. So, um, have you got your eye on them? Dunno. Oh, come on. Is it a she? Of course it's a she. So you've got your eye on someone. Is it Charlie? No. Ah, lovely Lucy. Hmm. Ah, I've got it. Eleanor. Ah, she's a bit of a looker, mate. You've got good taste. No, it's just that, well, she's beautiful and she's intelligent and she's got more standards than any of the girls in this place. It's just that I wish I could be more like Nick. 
Girls like Eleanor go for boys like Nick. Oh, stop feeling sorry for you, Sam. Go out there, use a bit of your Chapman charm. And come on, we've come to uni, that's what it's all about. This is one of the main reasons why I practice safe sex, so I don't have to come to these kind of places. If Mummy could see me now, she'd have an absolute fit. Oh, God. I don't think I can do this. Oh, come on. Remember why you're here? Why are we here, darling? To give Charlie our support. Excuse me, girls. Either of you got a light? No, keep it, please. Oh, nice one. Thanks. Oh. OK. Let's do this. After you. I'm gonna kill Nick the next time I see him. I think we all will. You try to make out to Ellie that Charlie was making the full thing up? Oh, wait till I get my hands on that boy. Don't worry, he'll get what's coming to him. Yeah, smack in the mouth from me. Kicking the knackers from me. He's just getting a little bit too big for his boots. He needs to be brought down a peg or two. Get him where it hurts boys like Nick Malinsky the most. And where's that? His ego. And I know exactly how. Hey, Ellie, how's it going? Not too bad. Just chilling. Hey, don't worry about it. I would have thought exactly the same thing if I was in your situation. Let's just forget about it, yeah? Tonight? Nothing. Why? Dinner? Sounds good. Hey, how about I cook? Of course I can cook. It's a Malinsky speciality. Um, about seven? Sounds good. See you then. It worked. Nick is currently preparing me dinner at his house for tonight. A Malinsky speciality, apparently. <laughs> Phase two of Operation Nasty Nick. It's time to ring Ryan. Oh, you're joking. We're doing miles better. All right, mate, how are we doing? Fancy cooking a sub dinner tonight, you know? That was special for me, just like steak and chips, you know? Well, I am cooking dinner tonight. There's someone much prettier than you. Always the lucky boy. Eleanor, actually. Yeah, it's a little wine, a little food, a little music. A little Dancing and romancing gets me some posh loving. Mm. Eleanor, eh? And she asked me. Girls just can't resist. Oh, the poor lamb. I used to quite fancy him, but I won't go near him now. Not even with a barge pole, not after this. But I may stop and stare occasionally. It's <laughs> <laughs> so, alright. Eleanor's come up with a plan of revenge and we need your help. Uh, so that's why you've invited me round here. Okay, I'll do it, but on one condition. Okay. You have to fill me completely and utterly with copious amounts of alcohol. <laughs> I want to get this wrong. <laughs> it's a deal, definitely. Okay, so tell me, how can I be of assistance? Well... Are you going to stand there catching flies all night? Are you actually going to say something? Oh, yeah, you look really nice. Where's Nick? Ciao, bambini. 
from the Chinese Hopper Union, man. Union? Yeah, the Union. Where you're going tonight. Oh, the uh, Union where I'm uh, going tonight. Oh, uh, right, I'll uh, see you later then. Yeah. Much later. You need a shot. I bet you can't down it. I bet, I bet, I bet you I can. And another one? And finish that one. <coughs> now, Eleanor, my sweet, I think we should go somewhere a little, a little bit more comfortable. I think that's a very good idea. Hi Ryan, he's ready for you. Where are you going? College, I've got a lecture. Don't come back. <clears throat> you don't really have to go, stay with yeah, me. Yeah, I do have to go, I've got a lecture. Come back to bed. Tom man, I'm going to college. Oh, whoa, sorry. It's not be nice to spend a morning together. Yeah, it's whose expense? Mine because I miss my lecture. No one's expense. Since when has us spending a morning together been at anyone's expense? What's wrong there? Mm? What's happening? I'm going to college. Mm -hmm. Sasha. Sasha! Sasha! Morning. Morning. Did you have fun last night? The best. No regrets? No. It's good. What? What is it? I like you. A lot. Well, I really like you too. A lot. I wonder if Nick had a good night last night. I think you'll be surprised at how good a time he actually did have. Okay, so what have you guys done? What's happened? You all look unbelievably guilty. Well, let's just say Nick got what was coming to him. And he's probably with him right now. Morning. Ah! <laughs>